Hello everybody and welcome to another Unity tutorial. So today we're going to be looking into the Unity 5 UI system. Uh, now there are multiple ways of doing this. Um, well, there's multiple ways of doing UI anyway. Uh, the Unity 5 UI system is quite nice and you can make it scale with the screen quite easily and you can see it visually uh, in real time what's going on in the scene. Uh, the other way of doing it is you can do it in code. Uh, it's the code way of doing it uh, is quite useful for doing debugging and stuff. Uh, if you've seen the tutorial where I did the distance, I oh know the coin pickup script, um, you saw that I put a little bit of piece of text in like the top left hand of the screen. That's the uh, script UI, um, which was the old UI system, um, but I find that quite useful to, for debugging. Uh, so, the Unity UI system. Um, so it's quite simple to sort of start looking into. Uh, so we'll start off by making some text, which you'll see happen down here. Now, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. For some reason in my version of Unity, or it's a slight weird bug that's happened, normally all your elements are meant to spawn in the center of the screen, but for some unknown reason, mine is sort of offsetting. So yours should have hopefully appeared in the center. If not, change those all to zero. Uh, so there we go, we're on there. I'm just going to change this uh, so it's just solid color. There we go, and we'll set this to a nice blue. Um, so if we look at the text, there, there we go. Uh, you can see that it's just sort of, it's quite tiny on the bottom of the screen. That's okay, we can deal with that. Um, what I'm going to set up first of all though is just so we have the UI sort of at least at attempting to scale with the screen quite nicely. Um, we're going to do this, we're going to do scale with screen size. Now I've set up a screen size in here for 720p which is 1280 by 720. Um, if you're developing your game, sort of, if you have a screen that's sort of uh, 16 by 9 and is 1080p or more or something like that, um, I recommend starting to develop your UI in 720. I don't know if any other person would recommend this, it's just the way I do it, so I can, well, one way I can show it on one screen. I can develop for 1080 if I put it onto my secondary screen, but for the purpose of the tutorial, 720. Uh, if you want to add that, you literally just type in your width and your height one there, and give it a name, I called it 720p uh, and it's a fixed resolution because uh, these are the aspect ratios there and then just sort of select that and then scale this as big as you can to see if, as, as close as you can get to one um, one time scale and that way you can see it on your screen quite nicely so I'm going to change this here to 1280 by 720 so this is giving us our proper scale on here uh, so there we go, this is all set up so we're going to leave the game view like this, because if we change it, it might mess up a little bit. Um, so for starters, I'm just going to hold shift and click this um, little arrow here after going into the uh, UI mode, I think this is called. Uh, we drag it out a bit and then center this. Like so until you see the blue lines. Now if we bring this down, I'm going to center this in the box. And we're going to scale this font all as big as we can go before it disappears. So about 65. We'll go to be safe. We'll go 60. Now we can put new text. I don't know. We can put something on here. Hello. We'll do. We'll do the typical developer thing. Hello world. Oh, it's gonna. It's gonna get cut off though. That's fine. You can extend the box. Just make it a little bit bigger. Put it in there, and there we go. Uh, we can change the color of the text by using the simple color thing that's on everything. Uh, so we can make it a nice white if we wanted to. Uh, and you can do all sorts of things. You can make it normal, you can make it bold. If you make it bold, it sort of comes out again a little bit. You can just move it a little bit. You'll come back. You can set different fonts. Uh, are all of these going to disappear? Yeah. Oh, that one didn't. Uh, we'll make, oh, okay, we'll be, we'll be safe with this then. We'll, we'll give this some more room so we can see what's going on. Um, yeah, you can use all sorts of fonts. I'm going to go to Sans Bold here. Because uh, yeah, that's the only one you can really go with. Um, there's another, another thing we can do, um, you can add an outline to this, you can see the slight outline has now been added, uh, change the alpha value, so basically there's, it's transparent so you can make it sort of bolder there, so you can see, probably more clear actually, so see it on here, it's got the black outline, which you can have there as well. Now the one thing I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put this up a little bit, I'm going to put this somewhere up here on the screen. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these around the text, sort of these little lines, we're going to drag them so that you have a box drawn around the hello world. Basically what it means is as you bring this down, it scales quite nicely. And if I go into standalone, you see it saves roughly in the same position 
Um, you know, it's trying to stick within. Oh, that's a okay. That's a weird resolution. I wouldn't recommend that one. Uh, you see, it's trying to stay at the top of the screen, roughly where I put it, which is quite good. So now we've got our sort of automatic scaling happening there. Um, another thing I'm going to do is going to add a button. Uh, not there. Actually, yeah, that's what I want to do. Sorry. Uh, button. So I've got a button. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to do shift, drag, and we'll put a button here. So now we're going to add a button into here. And this has a text element inside of it, which we can scale up. Um, let's just make a sort of a simple, um, almost like a main menu thing here. We'll make a simple play game thing. Um, so we've got a bit of text on the screen, and we've got a button. So you can scale this however you want now, add as much text as you like. Um, so we go play game. So this actually has an on-click function. Um, so what we can do here is we can actually, I can easily show you what you can do with the button. You can go, we drag the canvas in, uh, and you go game object, and you go set active. And we're going to say no, we're going to actually turn off the canvas once we click the button, we don't want it. You could use this for a close button actually. So you click that, oh look, the canvas has been turned off for now. Um, and, you know, there's, there's it gone. It's just, it's just disappeared for now. Um, so there you go, that's a simple way. You can edit all the colours of what happens when you're when the button's in its normal state, when you hover when you've highlighted it or hovered over it, um, when you press it what colour it is and when it's disabled. Um that's why I see if I turn it to interactable it's now gone to this colour, which is a transparent grey. Um, but it's normal colour I can change, so it's like a red. And, you know, it's gonna go to white when I hover over it. Okay, instead of there now we'll go to a blue when I hover over it. Oh look at that. And when it's clicked, it's going to go to a weird grey, and then we get, obviously we've clicked it, so it's um, disabled it. Um, so there we go, that's sort of uh, basically, what else can we do? Let's have a look. Uh, oh, we can put images onto the screen. So you can put two types on. You can put a raw image, um, which is an image that hasn't been converted down to a sprite, or you can put a uh, sprite on the screen. Um, so both of these will work pretty much the same way. Um, so if you have a normal image, this will just say raw image instead, and you can drag whatever image you like into here. Um, but for this, I'm just going to add that little icon, and there we go. Uh, for the button, um, one thing I did forget, drag your box around this as well. Sort of try and get it as close as you can, and it will just scale a bit better. There you go. Because an example, if we go into there, actually that, that uh, little icon is going to work quite well, actually. Oh, that's quite surprising. Okay, like before. Oh, okay. Sometimes you... Sometimes things scale well, sometimes things don't. But I tend to try and do this little trick of surrounding. I mean, because this one—that's what, what I'm talking about—is this little thing here. Um, but it's getting its position from the center. It's, it's going right from the center. I need to be this far away, uh, roughly. Um, so that's what we're trying to calculate. So sometimes that works. But I found recently that surrounding it tends to work better. But it's up to you. You can fill around with these little um, position anchors and uh, see what happens. Um, so what else can we do? So that's it. I'll just show you the raw image as well, just uh, so you can see the difference. So you go raw image. Um, so they say for this you can just use a texture or something. Um, so let's just use an image of a tree. So you can go into this mode again, press shift or hold shift and prick it out, and there we go. We've got a tree on the screen. Now we have this little image. We can um, to put it behind everything. We can put it first. Basically. Uh, this is the render order, so it will render things in the right order. So if you have this image, you know, last, it's going to render it last, which means it will render over the button. Um, so we're putting it last, and then we've got our little tree on the screen as well as everything else. And you hear that? And then it still goes. So that's an introduction to Unity UI. Um, you can sort of do whatever you like with it. You can sort of play around, make something with it. Um, you know, you can spin it around, you can do all sorts of things. Um, I will probably make a tutorial soon on how to make a sort of nice main menu um, with functionality using a script to call functions to do different things with the state change system and all some nice things. Um, if you have examples of sort of main menus you'd like me to recreate or uh, or just a certain look or if you've got a certain thing you need to do relating to UI let me know and I can see what I can do. Uh, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.